All matter is made out of tiny particles called atoms and molecules. For a solid, the diagram of the molecular structure should look like this. Draw them regularly spaced, preferably in a square format, or the circles should all be contacting each other and should be in nice, neat rows and columns. The distance between particles, they are very closely packed together. They are in an orderly arrangement. The forces of attraction between their particles are very strong. And the movement of their particles, this is important, they vibrate about their fixed position. These particles cannot move around so much. They can only, they can only vibrate around their fixed position. Okay, so now let's compare that to liquid. You can see here that the structure of liquid is much more random than the solid. So over here, there are no perfect columns or rows. In fact, they are just arranged haphazardly. However, you can see that they are still stuck to each other. Each molecule must be connected to another one of its molecules and preferably all in one chunk like this. Three of these circles are not connected to another circle. That would not represent a liquid, it will represent a gas. So the distance between their particles, they are closely packed together as well, as you can see. However, they are not as closely packed as the solid. Their arrangement is disorderly. The forces of attraction between the particles are strong. However, they are not strong enough to hold these particles in perfect lattice arrangements. But they are strong enough to keep them stuck together. For the movement of the particles, they slide across one another. For example, this ball can slide around and go around the other ball. They are free to move within the liquid. Let's compare the previous two to gas. The diagram of its molecular structure is the easiest to draw. Basically, you draw single particles very far apart from each other. I recommend just three to five circles. And each of them, make sure that none of them touches any other particle. So the difference between each particle is that they are very far apart. They are in a disorderly arrangement. The forces of attraction between the particles are very weak. And the movement of the particles is that they move about at high speeds. They constantly collide with each other and the walls of the container.